There have been now uh, two major bills proposed, one by the House Democrats, known as the HEROES Act, uh, one by Senate Republicans, known as the HEALS Act, uh, both of which adopt very similar structure for the stimulus payments as the first round of, of stimulus payments were. And finally, there is the Coronavirus Assistance for American Families Act, which was proposed by Romney and Rubio, as well as Cassidy and, and Danes. So you have the HEROES Act, which would provide, which proposes uh, a $1,200 payment for individuals, $2,400 for families, and another $1,200 payment for dependents. So that raises that amount from $500 in the CARES Act up to $1,200 uh, with the same uh, base outs. The HEALS Act, which was proposed a couple of weeks ago by the Senate Republicans, would very similarly provide $1,200 for individuals and $2,400 for those filing jointly, but keeps that $500 dependent amount that we saw in the CARES Act. It's basically identical to the CARES Act stimulus payments. So if that proposal wins out, uh, households would see the same amount that they received in uh, the CARES Act uh, stimulus payments. The big difference is both sets of proposals there expand the eligibility for dependents beyond uh, qualifying children. So a big group of people who missed out in the stimulus payments last time were adult dependents. Think about college students who are of adult age, disabled adults who may not be working uh, and are dependent to, on another household. Those uh, individuals did not receive a rebate of their own and the folks who are uh, they are dependent on did not receive a rebate themselves either. And so this change in both of these proposals allows a dependent payment to be made for those individuals, which expands uh, the eligibility a bit there. And finally, there is the Coronavirus Assistance for American Families Act, which was proposed by Romney and Rubio, as well as Cassidy and, and Danes, which argues for uh, raising that amount the dependents get up to $1,000, but decreasing the amount that, that households without dependents get down to $1,000 per individual. So the net effect there would be households with dependents might see an increase in how much they get for stimulus payments, but households without any dependents uh, may see slightly less. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.